Hello everyone and in this lesson we will study 3C special days real world and real world phrases for special days talking about days and dates suggestions vocabulary months and dates okay so let's start here here we look at special days cards okay so and here in exercise number one let's look here okay we have a birthday a wedding the birth of a new baby a new year's eve party a wedding anniversary so let's match these special days to the cards Okay, here, so this is the answer. A birthday is A, 21 today. Today I am 21. So today uh, is my birthday. A wedding is D. This is a, uh, a wedding cake and groom and bride here. The birth of a new baby. Of course, it's a baby, E. For a New Year's Eve party is B. Okay, this is the time at 12 o'clock. And a wedding anniversary, which is C, wedding anniversary. But what's wedding anniversary? Let's explain something here. Okay, for example, I have... Um, my i'm talking about my wedding okay it's on the 17th for example um october 2013 okay and the next year it will be 17th october 2014 okay in the same day next year I will have a small party, me and my wife, maybe my family, okay? It's a small party because one year after my wedding, okay? The other year, again, October 2015, another year, okay? So I have, again, small party every year in the same day, we have small party and here we talk about uh, C 25 years after the uh, the wedding so every year every year every year you have party in the same day okay so this is wedding anniversary New Year's Eve party of course this is the night before the new year the night before the new year for example here it today is 31st okay 31st um, December okay any year 31st December in like uh, in the evening okay people celebrate they make a party because tomorrow is the new year okay if for example now we are like uh, 31st um, of December 2020 so tomorrow is 2021 okay so when you uh, visit people and in these special days and you want to tell them uh, what, what do you say for example when you come to a birthday we know that everyone says happy birthday today is your birthday and when people come to you they say happy birthday okay what about the other uh, special days here we have okay they these uh, phrases happy birthday happy new year congratulations and happy anniversary so let's do, do them together so of course happy birthday you, you say it on birthday okay 
and happy new year he said a new year eve party which is four and congratulations he said uh the birth of a new baby okay and yes uh congratulations a wedding uh no um a wedding and okay so let's do it number two and the birth of a new baby three so a wedding you say congratulations and the birth of a new baby and happy anniversary uh, happy anniversary you said a wedding anniversary okay so let's practice how we say these words okay listen to them here track 57 happy birthday Happy New Year. Congratulations. Happy Anniversary. Okay, so here, these words, Happy Birthday, Happy New Year, uh, maybe they are like easy to say, but let's take congratulations here, okay, because it's a little a bit difficult so let's practice how we say it mm. okay okay so let's uh divide it how many parts is this word okay so we say king this is one part okay then the second part grad this is the second part the third part you then lay then shins okay so now let's practice here the first one the first one we say kun kun don't say kun okay it's schwa here kun 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 and here grad d so here we change it to d okay so this is here we'll change it to d d okay always remember it's d okay so we say king grad king grad king grad Repeat it many times until it's easy. Kingrad, Kingrad, Kingrad. Okay, so let's go to the second part. Lations, 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 Ulations, 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 Kingrad, Ulations, Kingrad, Ulations. Congratulations, congratulations, in this way, okay? So you repeat it again, you say, Kingrad, 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 Ulations, Lations, Ulations, Congratulations, Kingrad, Ulations, okay? In this way, it will be easy, okay? So but in the street, people usually don't say congratulations because it's a big word. So they, they just say congrats. That's it. Congrats. If you uh, see people in these special days, the only thing you say congrats. That's it. If you want to say congratulations, it's uh, like formal. It's okay. And people when you say congrats, it's okay. Another thing, when people, for example, um, here, let's just go there. Okay, so congratulations, you tell people when they are, when they um, have a baby, when they finish, uh, when they have a wedding, uh, when they, for example, pass an exam, 
okay when they have a certificate for example after um, you finished university you have the your certificate uh, after high school what about if someone for example um, if someone uh, have a new car okay so someone has a new car and you say congratulations no uh, it's not like some other languages they say congratulations for a new car for a new home for uh, new clothes no here you only say enjoy it enjoy it okay you say enjoy it uh, this is how people say they don't say congratulations for everything like um, for example arabic or uh, turkish people no enjoy it that's it okay so um let's move here to the next word which is any anniversary any anniversary anniversary Okay, let's let's put it here. Any ver anniversary, anniversary. Any anniversary. Any, not a, it's a, a, schwa, a, any, versary, sorry, sorry, anniversary, and the stress is here in the middle, ver, anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, okay? Okay, here in this exercise, okay, we will listen and answer with the correct phrase. For example, here the first one. Track 58. One. I'm 30 today. We say I am 30 today. Okay, I am 30 today. When, So what do you say? Yes, you say happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, listen to the others and... Uh, from the beginning, we listen and say the correct phrase. What you say? Track 58. 1. I'm 30 today. 2. We've got a new baby daughter. 3. Today is our 40th wedding anniversary. 4. Guess what? We're getting married! Five. Five, four, three, two, one! Hooray! Okay, so here's the answer. The first one we say Happy birthday. The second one will say, we've got a new baby daughter. That means I have a new baby daughter. So we say, congratulations. Today is our 40th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. Guess what? We are getting married. So I am getting married me and my fiance will be husband and wife so we say congratulations so we will have a wedding and here five four three two one this is at night we say happy new year okay okay in the next exercise here we'll have when's your birthday Put the months in the correct order. July, March, December, January, April, October, August, June, February, November, 
May, September. Okay, put them in order. After that, check uh, with the recording. Track 59. And let's go to 134. Get here. Okay, so listen, check, and practice. Track 59. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. October, November, December. Okay, so when you practice, just be careful with the ja here. Okay, this is ja. Okay, when you start, always start with the letter D. Okay, so you say D, J, J, J. Don't say January, no. January here. June, no. D, D. Start with D. J, J. June, June. Here, D, D. J, J. July, July. And um, here, be careful with this march you 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 finish with t t sh not say marsh no march ch t t here t sh t sh t sh march march okay and very important thing in here o not a uh, o August, o -g -g, o -g. be careful with this and as you know in uh, British accent ER is schwa here we, we say September October November December we don't say ER October no October ba. If you want to say September, October, November, December, it's okay, no problem. This is American and it's okay. But uh, in the British accent, they say it as schwa. Okay, let's move to the next uh, exercise, which is uh, exercise number four. How we say days. In the month the number of days um, we don't say one uh, September to September no okay here we have this is one is T we have first okay in uh, two in D it will be what second okay so stop the video match all the numbers with the words Okay, after that, we will listen and check. Let's do it together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so two in D, second, three R D, third, four T H, fourth, five T H, fifth. 12th, th, 12th, 13th, th, 13th, 20th, th, 20th, 21, 
twenty first, twenty two, twenty second, it's here, thirty th, thirtieth, and this one thirty one first will be thirty mm -hmm. first. Okay, let's listen to them and check uh, and practice. Track 60. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Twelfth. Thirteenth. Twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, thirtieth, thirty first, okay, let's go to page. Uh, 133 again here 133 okay so if you can see here number one we say first so we add the last two letters next to the number when you write it you write like this one is T first Two in D second, three R D third. So here we have number one, two, and three. First, second, third. After that, you write T H. Here T H fourth. Okay, five, five. So be careful. Five. Here we have F, not V. So we change it to F, not F-I-V-T-H, F-I-F-T-H, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Here, be careful, okay, we don't have E after nine. E we don't have. Tenth, eleventh, twelfth, okay, again here, what? We have F, not V. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. So 20, how do we write 20 here? Okay, 20, we have Y. If you notice here, okay, we have Y. Mm -hmm. But what we do, we delete Y and add what? Here, I, E, T, H, I, E, T, H. And we say, we don't say 20th, no. 20th, 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 yes, yes, 20th. And it's the, the same for here, 30th, yeah. yeah. 30th, 30th, yes, yes, 30th, okay? So we say 20th and 30th. After that, you have 21, 22, 23, the same one, two, three. Because here we have first, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, because one, two, three. One, two, three, always first, second, third. After that, TH, if you notice here. And the same here, 31st. So again, one, two, three, first, second, third. And the other numbers, all of them, TH. And we will uh, see how we write them. Okay, let's go back. So here in exercise number five, real world talking about days and dates. 
match questions 1 to 4 to answers A to D. Notice the words involved. So we say here, what day is it today? It's Wednesday. What's the date today? What's the date tomorrow? When's your birthday? Match, stop the video, match them. After that, check with the recording. Track 61. 1. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. 2. What's the date today? It's the 5th of March. 3. What's the date tomorrow? It's March the 6th. 4. When's your birthday? It's on June the 3rd. 5. Okay, so number 2. What's the date today? It's the 5th of March. What's the date tomorrow? It's March the 6th. So here, day five, uh, 5, number 5, so we say 5th. Number 6, we say the 6th. And here, when's your birthday? Yes, we say it's on June the 3rd. Okay, so let's go to the board and explain this. So if we have the date, for example, mm -hmm. like this, for example, so how do we write it? Let's see here, we say, what's the question? We say, for example, what's the date today? What's the date? We, talk, we, we call date. So, and the answer will be it's the mm -hmm, 3rd of May. It's the 3rd of May. And um, look here, this is the day and this is the third the day after that we have the month may first one is day second one is the month the third of may and be careful we always start the month with a capital letter we always write the month the same days with capital letter because it's in uh, a name of a month. Okay, so we say it's the 3rd of May. Another way we can say it's and start with the month. We say it's May the 3rd. It's May the 3rd. So here the month we started with the month after that the day and both of them are correct which one you like you always use it's the third of you write off after that uh, the month it's the third of may or it's may the third okay so this is what this is of course when you write uh, you write uh, the date you have to Let's put it here, write TH. Here you write TH, uh, sorry, uh, RD, because third. You write RD here. Third. And let's uh, say, uh, see the American way. How the American way write it, the same. For example, if it's like this, uh, 
and here it will be it's the fifth of March. Or it's March the fifth. So here is the day. Look, the fifth. And this is the month, March. Okay, so here this is the American way. This is the uh, British way. This is UK. And this is USA here. Okay, so here, and this is the American. And don't forget to write here, we write TH because it's day. So fifth. This is very important because maybe you have uh, some uh, documents from an American company or the American embassy and they give you you read this date and you go in different on different dates okay be careful with that okay so when someone asks you about your birthday when's your birthday when's your birthday the answer will be it's on the first of uh, June and you remember always the capital uh, the first letter is capital of the month so it's on the first of June look here we have it's on okay we don't have on here <clears throat> when's your birthday always it's on because it's a day and we always use on with the day. It's on the 1st of June. So this is how we ask questions. What's the date today? You, are, you answer uh, it's the 3rd of May. You start with the day or it's May the 3rd. You start with the month. And this is the uh, British way and this is the American way. And here, when's your birthday? It's on the 1st of June. Okay, let's go to the book again okay okay so let's do exercise number six here <clears throat> listen to six conversations which dates do you hear so you hear september the 5th or the 15th 13th or 30th so listen and choose the correct date. Track 62. 1. When do you start your English course? On September the 5th. 2. When's your birthday, Sam? It's on the 13th of December. Oh, that's on Tuesday. 3. When's Mother's Day? It's on the 14th of March. Oh, that's next week. 4. 
When do you start your new job? On the 2nd of July. 5. Excuse me, what's the date today? It's October the 30th. Thanks a lot. 6. When's Matt and Sarah's wedding anniversary? I think it's the 1st of February. Oh, no. That's today. OK, so you can repeat uh, the video again, listen again, and uh, make sure you chose the correct answer. And let's check together here. OK. So this is the answer. Here, December the 13th. And here, 14th. Number 4, July the 2nd. Number 5, October the 30th. 30th, not 13th, 30th. And here the first. Okay, so here in exercise number seven, uh, you will write four dates that are important to you every year. Birthday, uh, a date of your, for example, mother's birthday, wife's birthday, uh, wedding anniversary, um, any date. And if you are in the class, you will work together and say your dates to your partner, write your partner's dates, then ask why you, they are important. For example, um, I see my partner's dates, so it's uh, the 6th of May. Then I say, why is May the 6th important to you? Is important to you. So because it's my wedding anniversary, this is an exercise you will do in the class. Okay, guys, so let's move here. Look at this photo, how many people are there? Now we have two people. They are all people, Chris and Louis. So Chris and Louis, they uh, talk together about a birthday, their friend's birthday. So before we continue here, for example, what are the things that people give as a birthday? Uh, uh, birthday present. For example, here we say birthday present. Birthday present. For example, people give a camera, a mobile, a watch, a book. Okay, so write everything, okay, you think that people give as a present, okay, as a list. After that, what we will do, we will watch a video about these people. They talk together about a, uh, the present. For example, uh, you talk with your brother about your friend's birthday. and. You talk, you say, for example, tomorrow is uh, this person, for example, birthday. So what shall we uh, get him? That means what shall we give him for birthday? A camera, a mobile, a watch, a book, what? Okay, after that, after you finish, you say, no, I guess this is okay. A camera is expensive, a mobile, he has got a mobile, a watch, he doesn't like watches. Then after that, you say, okay, let's give him a book. So now we will watch this video and you will write at the end of the video, what is the present they will give their friends, okay? Let's watch the video here.
here's your tea. Thanks a lot. Chris? Yes? What's the date today? It's the 29th. Why do you ask? It's Sophie's birthday on Thursday. Is it? Yes. And I haven't got a present for her. Oh. Have you got a card? Yes, I have. Oh, well. That's OK, then. But I want to get her a present, too. She's one of our best friends. OK, then. Let's get her a present. Right. What shall we get her? Oh, I don't know. What about an MP3 player? No, I don't think so. I think she's got one. OK, then. Why don't we get her a book? Maybe. But she's got lots of books. Hmm. It's difficult, isn't it? Yes, it is. I know. Let's get her a DVD. Yes, that's a good idea. Sophie and Marcus watch a lot of DVDs. And I think they've got a new TV. OK. Which DVD shall we get? Let's get her a film. Then we can watch it first. Chris? OK, so what's the present? Mm -hmm. Yes, a DVD. They will give um, their uh, friend a DVD. OK, not a DVD player, a DVD, a film. OK, so here, in exercise 8B, how many sentences are there? We have six sentences, so we will listen again and choose the correct word. Let's read them together. The date today is the 19th or the 29th. It's Sophie's birthday on Tuesday or Thursday. Louis has got, hasn't got got Sophie's Sophie a birthday card. Four, Sophie has got, hasn't got an MP3 player. Sophie has got, hasn't got lots of books. Sophie and Marcus watch, don't watch a lot of DVDs. Okay, so listen and choose the correct word. Track 63. Here's your tea. Thanks a lot. Chris? Yes? What's the date today? It's the 29th. Why do you ask? It's Sophie's birthday on Thursday. Is it? Yes. And I haven't got a present for her. Oh. Have you got a card? Yes, I have. Oh, well. That's OK, then. But I want to get her a present, too. She's one of our best friends. OK, then. Let's get her a present. Right. What shall we get her? Oh, I don't know. What about an MP3 player? No, I don't think so. I think she's got one. OK, then. Why don't we get her a book? Maybe. But she's got lots of books. Hmm. It's difficult, isn't it? Yes, it is. I know. Let's get her a DVD. Yes, that's a good idea. Sophie and Marcus watch a lot of DVDs. And I think they've got a new TV. OK. Which DVD shall we get? Let's get her a film, then we can watch it first. Chris? OK, guys, so you can repeat it again and answer it. And now let's check the answer. Here's the answer. Number two, Thursday, three has got four has got, five has got, and six watch. Okay, so next exercise, real words, suggestions. Suggestions uh, means when I ask you, for example, about a restaurant, about a good restaurant, so you, you tell me, uh, restaurant number one is good, number two is not that good, number three very very nice. Okay, so you give me ideas. So this is suggestions. So here read these sentences, fill in the gaps with these words. 
uh, get, good, what, why, think, and her. Fill in the gaps. Stop the video, fill in the gaps. After that, we will check together on page uh, 134. Let's go. Okay, here, as we said, when you give suggestions, for example, I say, what shall we get her? What shall we get her? Get here uh, means like give. What shall we give her? What shall we buy for her? But we don't say what shall we buy for her. We say what shall we get her, buy her, give her. It's the same. And this is because we talk about a girl. If we talk about uh, a boy, of course, we will change this what to him. I say, what shall we get him? Okay. And now I ask you, I say, what shall we get? What shall we? This is you memorized as one block. Okay. What shall we? What shall we? What does shall mean? No meaning here for shall. It's one block. What shall we? get her okay that means uh, give me an idea uh what do we buy for her but we say what shall we what shall we get her buy her give her and um here we say what about so this is the answer we say what about an mb3 player why don't we and here why don't we get her a book okay and let's get her so here why don't we get it's the same we say what about an mb3 player or for example here why don't we get her an mb3 player or let's get her an mb3 player all of them the same meaning again here wh why don't we get if we have a boy we say get him let's get him they are all the same meaning the first one, what about an MB3 player? I say no, I don't think so. So this is, I don't like the idea. Or here, 50-50, but I need to uh, hear another idea. And here you say, yes, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Be careful with this pronunciation. Some students, they, they say idea. No, it's idea not idea because the stress on ea so we say idea idea dia dia idea okay and here down we have uh, some tips we can say get or buy both are correct no problem what shall we get her buy her we use the infinitive after what shall we and let's what shall we do tonight let's go to the cinema okay so after them we use what infinitive uh, as you can see what shall we get here the infinitive clean verb origin uh, verb okay and here why don't we get let's get okay here we have um, the phrases listen and practice track 64 what shall we get her what about an mp3 player no i don't think so why don't we get her a book maybe Let's get her a DVD. Yes, that's a good idea. Okay, the last exercise we have here. Sophie and Marcus want to buy their uh, son Liam a birthday present. Fill in the gaps with the correct words. So here read the conversation then you can look here again okay and 
it will help you to fill in the gaps here. For example, Sophie, it's Liam's birthday next week. What? We get him. What? So, it will be here. This is the answer. What shall? Okay. You write it here. What shall? After that, we get him. Okay. So, yeah, stop the video for a minute. Fill in the gaps. After that, I'll give you the answer. Okay, here's the answer. Okay, guys, so here, if you work with a, a friend or a partner, you can practice this conversation together. Okay, and here, we have this uh, in the recording. Track 60. This is all the script down here. Okay, you can practice it together. Or if you have the book, of course, you can go um, back. Let's go to CD uh, 163. Mm -hmm. 63. Here to start from here. Here's your T and this is all the conversation here. Okay, so you can practice you and your partner read the conversation many times so you can um, understand more how we use these questions. Okay, like what shall we get? Let's get here. Why don't we? It's a good way to practice. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. In this video, we studied uh, special days and what we say in uh, on these special days. After that, we studied the months and the days of the months, how we ask about the date, two ways, American and British. After that, how we ask about birthday. We practice listening here and we watch this video about people asking about uh, birthday. We practice listening here, how we uh, make suggestions and ask people for ideas how we say yes or no, and you practiced filling the gaps here. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thank you and goodbye.